Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you, oh, I look oily, my process for um, hydrating my skin during the harsh winter months. This is going to be, I think, great information if you're like me and you have maturing skin. As you guys know, um, I'm 46, I'll be 47 in about four months. Yay, praise God, I made it through. All right. <laughs> but also, if you have oily skin or you're just looking for general skincare tips, I think you'll find some really good educational information um, in this video to keep your skin looking its best and um, to always put your best face forward. Oh, I forgot to say, hey, if you're new to this channel, my name is LaDon. <laughs> this is the No Lie Naturally Me channel. Um, for those of you who've been around for a while, hey, I'm not big on doing these intros, so let's just jump right into the video. All right, so um, this is my skin after today's um, spa treatment. Um, this video is the first video and the relaunch of my skincare Sunday series and my skincare Sunday series is going to focus on live streams, uh, DIYs, and then also uh, product reviews of skincare products. They will definitely be products that are relevant to all skin types but if you have maturing skin like I do or uh, you have oily skin, I think, again, you'll find some really good information in this video, all right? Okay, so I always do skincare on Sundays because it's just a time where I can relax, I can pamper myself, it's almost like a mini spa day at home, and then it gives me an opportunity to give my skin some TLC um, and recover from the prior week. For instance, if you live in the Midwest, and actually across the country, we experience some really, really low temperatures so here in the Midwest we were like in the single digits it was extremely cold and what that means is that the outdoor elements as well as the indoor environment saps a lot of the moisture from our skin so so replacing that moisture keeping the skin as hydrated as possible um, will help you to keep uh, texture at bay due to dryness so you don't have to worry about flaking skin. You, um, you'll be replenishing that moisture and so you'll minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkling. Also, if you have acne scars or other texture on the skin, it's going to min minimize that as well. And for those of you who are like me and have mature skin, a lot of time when our skin becomes dehydrated, we start to get that sunken area in here and so again that hydration is going to help you to keep that area nice and plump and firm so that um, you know you keep the signs of aging at bay as well all right so let's just jump into um, what I typically do on a skincare Sunday where I am focusing on bringing moisture back to my skin all right, so my moisturizing process uh, for my skin begins with exfoliating the skin. So I use a Clarisonic. You can use whatever you like, but I use a Clarisonic. Um, I have the Mia 2. I've had this for about two years now. I absolutely love it. I use the Deep Pore Brush, which I'll show you guys and the reason I like the deep pore brush is that it gets into my pores a lot of times when you have oily skin the pores will become clogged and so this releases all the oils uh, from the clog from your pores I didn't bring my larger bottle here I think it's in the bathroom but this is my travel size so um, I get travel size containers of everything in my skincare regimen so that when I travel um, I can you know, just continue the same process I would have at home. That way I don't have to worry about doing any damage to my skin because I don't have access to the things I need. So um, with my Clarisonic, I just use my Mario Badescu Glycolic Foaming Cleanser. You guys have heard me talk about this lots of times on the channel. Glycolic acid helps to minimize any um, discoloration from hyperpigmentation due to scarring or you, know, you may have darker areas on your skin like my chin is darker than other areas of my face. Okay so after I cleanse my skin and I do one more cleanse that is a deeper level I guess I feel like and I use this daily microfoliant by uh, Dermalogica. It's a great product. It is a powder um, product you can find this at um, 
Ulta, that's where I get mine, or any place that sells uh, Dermalogica. And I really like this product because it has little um, granules that are not abrasive to the skin. So it is a powder, as you'll see in this demo. So it's super easy to use. You just take a little bit of the powder, mix it with a few drops of water, and then you manually exfoliate your skin using the pads of your fingertips. Once I've done that, I go ahead and I spritz my face with my Mario Badescu rose water. You guys have seen this. It's multi-purpose. I use it on my hair and I use it on my skin. And I just use that to add a little bit more um, moisture to my skin. It has aloe vera in it, which helps to pH balance everything, which I love. Um, and then also it's very hydrating. So it has, I think, green tea in it, which calms the skin. And it has a bunch of herbs um, that help to um, add, you know, you get the benefits of all the botanicals and stuff um, in the skin as well. So the first step is cleansing, and the second step is a deeper exfoliation. Now the reason I do that is because I want my pores and my skin to be as clean as possible. I want to make sure that I have any of those dead cells peeled away. So then when I do the treatments to my skin, my skin is ready to receive it, and I'm actually delivering it to my healthiest skin. I hope that makes sense. The last two steps are all about infusing moisture. So I use um, a moisturizing mask and I like this one by Strivectin. It is an overnight mask, but I also use it during the day. I'll just leave it on for like an hour. So the Strivectin um, Moisture Max is absolutely I don't know. It's absolutely amazing. You just put a thin to medium layer on your skin. It is a clear product and it dries pretty quickly. Um, so you're supposed to use this ideally before you go to bed. So I like the fact that it dries really quickly so you don't have to worry about messing up your pillowcases or what have you. But it works into the skin or onto the skin pretty smoothly and easily. And the thing I really like about it is that it is just extremely, extremely hydrating. So this is what my skin looks like once I remove the mask uh, using a warm towel. It leaves my skin super soft, super hydrated, smooth, plump, all that. Definitely worth it. Okay, so after I put my mask on and then just wiped it off with a warm cloth, I then go in and I add my, I'm so ashamed to show this bottle, y'all. It looks bad. But this is rose hip seed oil. And I'm just going to keep it back here because it's, it's a used bottle. I use this. So it's not as clean as it should probably be. I don't use a whole dropper. I use maybe mm, three or four drops of this and I'll put a drop in each section of my face and then I just warm it, um, I just uh, work it in. Okay, so the last step is really simple. I hydrate my skin again with my Mario Badescu and then I go in with this Bazhi Cosmetics uh, Sunflower Sweets Oil. Um, I keep one, of course, for traveling and then I keep one for daily use. My daughter also really loves this as well, so it's great for all skin types. Um, it is an oil blend. Uh, obviously, sunflower oil is the primary one in it, but as you can see, it has these little granules in it of other herbs, and it's just infused with so much good stuff that your skin will love. So when I use the Bahi and even the rosehip seed oil, I just use three to four drops of it, and then I pat it on my skin. Because these oils have vitamin A, vitamin E, antioxidants, and so much good stuff in it, you don't have to rub it into the skin. Um, it will penetrate the skin on its own. And then you just wanna use a facial tissue to wipe away any excess. And now I'm just adding a moisturizer. I believe this one is by Caudalie and it's their Souffle Moisturizer. That's just my last step to seal in all of the moisturizing and hydrating products I've used thus far. And that's it. So that's what I did to get this glow. <laughs> in any event, um, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you found the information to be helpful. If you have any suggestions on products you'd like to see me try or what you'd like to see my next uh, Skin Care Sunday uh, topic be, please leave the uh, suggestion in the comment section below. And um, I hope that you guys have a great Martin Luther King Jr. weekend and I will see you soon. Bye.